All right. So the next game is uh, Lacante versus Two Flower in their first game of this set. You ready? All right, all right. you got to back up. Okay, so let me. So Lacante versus Two Flower. Yep. Game two or one? Game one. All right. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. All right. So, what do their armies look like, Bestie? All right. So, two flower going for pigeons and squirrels. Um, ferrets as his tier two, badger as his tier three, and going for barbed wire and cyber balloon. Meanwhile, Lacante going for a pretty similar build, going for pigeons and squirrels as well, but going for double tier twos, skunks and snakes. It looks like Fox will be his tier three, and he's going to go for the machine gun nest as his building. Pretty. Interesting setup here. Yeah. Um, so looking at the the map, it's pretty much in constrained to the top corner of the map. The bottom area doesn't really pretty out of the way, so someone could get a sneaky base down there and hide it for a while. But I think the action will mostly be in this top corner. Uh, both players have mirrored starts at the moment. Uh, both going up to s uh, seven farms. And building a warren. Um, yeah, players just scouting around the map. Let's, let's look at visibility to see what each of them have scouted. All right, so I'm actually I'm looking at their their unit composition, and it's actually pretty interesting right now. If two flower can actually get barbed wire up in certain places, it actually can stop Lacante's push pretty cold. Because yeah, he has no units that can counter barbed wire. Yeah. Lacante's build is looks like it's more mostly about uh taking short engagements with the damage over time from the skunks and snakes and healing up with pigeons in between fights. And then if he and gets up to that fox to poke away. So two flowers gonna be going for that expansion first, just making sure he has the economy up. He has nine scores at the ready. Meantime, Lacante going for the tier two already, setting up his skunk. Just seeing if he has to be careful for any tier one rushes. See if he can go for area denial. I mean, if, if Lacante plays this one pretty smartly, he has like a ton of expansion on his side of the map that he can decide to go fall back to. So Lacante started building some pigeons, but thought better of it. Let's see what he's going to spend that food on instead. He's just gonna start building more, more squirrels. squirrels. He he needs the <laughs> he decides he needs the raw damage output to keep up with what Two Flowers got because Two Flowers got his sniper balloons up, so he's sectioned off Lacante from most of the map with that sniper balloon. Um, he could go the long way around through the water on the bottom side, but fighting through water is not the best idea. You really only want to do that if you have to. Uh, or if he can just go for the really sneaky plays. Like, that sniper balloon won't detect him going to the water, but... You know, in either case, it's not going to be easy for Lacante to actually press forward on this. So he does start building some snakes, which can poison that... If they get one tag on that sniper balloon, it'll go down. So we'll see if he can make use of that. But it looks like Two Flower is going to push in a little. Uh, no, he was just He's aggressively positioning. He's dancing slowly, around. Slowly, but... Deadly trying to approach the army. Yeah. He has the ferrets up though, so he does have some nice long range um, damage on his side. Yes, he really should start doing something aggressive because Lacante has put his money into expanding econ economically. And so if he just waits for that investment to recoup, then Lacante will be in the advantage. Now, two flower, not really. Okay, there we go. Now he's going to be pushing up forward. Conte nowhere near his army, he just burrowed back to his base, but now they're going to move on forward, and the skunk seems to be doing a lot for him right now. There's just a, a solid yeah. layer of gas here, just yeah. preventing too far from not advancing. Pull his units out of the gas, and so they took a lot of damage from the gas. If he had just kited back a little bit, he probably could have saved some of those squirrels. Bit of a misplay coming out from Two Flower, it seems. I think he was trying to see if he could just outnumber Lacante's army there, but yeah. he just wasn't able to do it in time, and Lacante was able to come back to command his army. Yeah. And now he is coming for the revenge. 
You know, the balloon the poison is gonna go down. Blue. Oh, and that gas is just cutting. Oh no! Down. All those squirrels. The units are just walking into the skunk gas right now, too, Flower. I don't. Does he notice this? <laughs> He's losing units just to the skunk gas alone. Alright, those warrens get tagged. He sells one of them so he doesn't lose too much money. But yeah, all these reinforcements are just wandering through that thick cloud of skunk gas, and they arrive to the fight at half health and don't get much done before they die. I mean, I talked about, like, Two Flower had barbed wire on his side, but, I mean, Lacante, all he needs is oh. a nice, firm... Two Flower has a badger out. Line. Let's see if this badger can do work. So Lacante is pressing in. Two Flower is bringing his badger around the side, trying to avoid that skunk gas, and now he's chasing down with a fully wound up badger, and he's just picking uh -oh. off the retreating units of Lacante. Kind the skunk just got taken out by the ink badger. is badger. doing a lot of work. Oh, the badger gets tagged by the snake. It's going down. He tries to pull it back. It's gonna, it's gonna die. It's gonna it's die. Dead. It's dead. Uh, so like, when you, when oh, you he brings it back into the range of a pigeon! Ah! It's gonna live! It's gonna live! Oh! Oh, the pigeon save him! Hero pigeon. I was a little really worried because he was also walking through the skunk gas as well. So I was like, oh crap, he's gonna die even faster. Oh, but Lacante is pushing in before that badger's gonna have a chance to heal up. The poison ticking, I think, is almost done though. And there we oh, go. Oh, but it gets taken oh, down. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was oh, good while it lasted. Yes. And there's oh, the that's it. <laughs> Oh, the badger plays. <laughs> uh, that was that was exciting, but Lacante read the situation right and and took down the badger before it had a chance to heal up. All right. So what's our next game then? We're gonna highlight. All right. Now we've got Master Stealth, Lord of Cheese against Lol Steamroller. Oh jeez. Game one. Game one. All right. So for those who don't know, Master Stealth oh. is one of the developers of this game. Oh. So he is very well known for his cheese, flying selection of aged cheese. All right. All right you ready? Yep. Starting in three, two, one. <laughs> 